Welcome to my playthrough of Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, welcome back. Just a heads up, I did buy a new mic. I haven't used it, I've, I plugged it in. Just, um, yeah. Right now I've unplugged it again. I've got to get the uh, all my settings back to normal. Like uh, noise gate and voice suppression and all that stuff. Just so it sounds... Well, so it makes me sound better anyway. But I don't think anything can make me sound better. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Staying safe out there. We are... What are we doing? Speak with Nariel. Alright, one sec. Alright, let's get going. So I did play around with some of my gear. I did temper everything. I didn't spend too much time on it, just pretty much every time I got something that looked decent, um, I used it. But yeah, this one I was trying to get core damage on, and it kept rolling ultimate damage, and when I rolled 70, I only had like one more temper left, so I said, you know what, screw it, staying with that. And I rolled run speed on my boots, so I got even more run speed, which is pretty nice. But yeah, let's get going. Damn. Feeling pretty strong, not gonna lie. I like it. Took a left. Should have taken a right. I want that. Oh yeah, this area. I remember this. Eli's Vaynard was ever searching. I do have thorns, so they can kill themselves. All right, let's see. Searching now that she sleeps, that's the knowledge. All right. Okay, in we go. Hey, what are we looking for? Hope you live to read this. Don't know if I'll have time to make up for my mistakes, but I'll go that tree knowing you were the best mistake I ever made. Visit you and it. Someone's got to keep me from biting Elias's nose off. L. Must ask Nero for that spell. Speak with the dead. Can't remember the Donan's method for organizing books. Kidding, he wouldn't want to tell me anyway. Some kind of mnemonic? How is it? Zenith posed imminent threat. Took care of it. Doing so, we treated with her father. Does that make us better? An alliance or worse? Either way, your devil's got plans, always does. Seems to be a list of those who've given their heads to the Tree of Whispers. Some names are circled, others are crossed off, maybe debunked guesses. At the bottom reads, Lorothnar. Perhaps he'd like to know who he'll be spending eternity with.
Okay, well, we gotta search for clues still. I saw a serpent coiling in the fires of the eternal conflict, and its scales were re reflected the truth. Sanctuary, never be saved. I saw my corpse, and from my mouth called hatred. Hmm, just noticed my audio isn't working for the game. One sec. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. I didn't change anything for my audio and it just disabled it in OBS. Lucky I looked over and noticed it. A little annoyed, but it's only a couple minutes. We're good. Yeah, I hate messing around with OBS when I don't need to. It just, uh... I don't know. It doesn't feel stable. Like, it always messes something up. But sometimes my mic doesn't even record my volume. But, you know, my, my voice and stuff. Gotta keep an eye out on the levels and such. But yeah, all I did was add a, another mic. A separate one. And it's muted right now because... One, I don't have it plugged in. Um... Two, I need to set up the, uh, all the gate, noise gate, noise suppression, equalizer, all that stuff. But yeah, still good. You heard my beautiful voice while I was talking over dead air, I guess. It'll have to do. I can't repeat the, uh, the quest. So we'll just carry on. A wanderer and a heretic both. Welcome. If something happens, I'll be ready. I hear Urvar is dead. By your hand? Yes. Good. Easier to obscure your part in his death than hers. Nerel, the church has been searching for you for quite some time. I'm aware. Such a chill, and so near the hearth. I didn't want this war with you, child. We are enemies of circumstance. But circumstances can change. Why are we here, brother? Would you have us beg forgiveness? Perhaps someday. But in this moment, I only ask for peace. Inarius's death cracked the foundation of our faith. Urivar's actions tore those cracks asunder. If the cathedral is to survive, it will need my full attention. And even though you no longer carry the stone, you are not relieved. The threat of the Lord of Hatred remains. Yes. Yes, it does. Then we have a shared enemy. Let our feud be over. In time when word spreads, you, all of you, will be friends of the Church once more. I swear it. May the Father's light shine on us all a friend of the church Lorath won't know what to do with himself <sighs> are you okay yes i was just thinking about something eru told me once 
You must remember the home you saved. Hold it close to your breast. Because it's the only thing you have. You have saved more than one home, my friend. Not everything he told you was a lie. Why did he do it? Did... did we push him to this? No, this is on Mephisto. I know how he walks. <sighs> he shows us truths so deep and terrifying that it makes us question our choices. Ourselves. Our friends. If he can make us hate who we are, his work is nearly done. That's what he's been doing to us all this time. But it didn't work on you. And because of that, I am free of the stone. And we are standing here together, ready to face whatever comes next. Nayral, promise me something. Anything. When we find Mephisto, you let me be the one to kill him. Villains in someone else's story. The Haradrim know this better than anyone. We've all made hard choices to protect what we love. Choices that seem necessary, even righteous, in the moment. But the Lord of Hatred excels at turning the blade of righteousness back into our guts just to hear us scream. The choices we made in Hell had aftershocks we are only now beginning to understand. How would history paint us for the path we'd taken? How would it paint Eru? Eru made his choice out of love and despair. I can hate him and still understand why he did it. And how it made him the devil's perfect tool. Another twist to the blade of righteousness. Perhaps Eru believed it was all worth it. The Hansu and the Spirit Realm were spared from Mephisto's touch. But that only meant they were cursed to watch the rest of the world wither. In the age of hatred to come. Damn, that was messed up. Hail, wanderer. I've completed the, the Vessel of Hatred campaign. I was sent by Ormus. He asks that you visit him. He has need of your skills. 
All right, I actually had a lot of fun with the uh, the campaign. I liked it a lot. Uh, where are we going exactly? So down here, but because we are so close to this, I'm just gonna go get this mount. I like how they removed the uh, cool, the cooldown timer on using a mount. It was annoying before you you dismount and then you have to wait so long to remount again. All right, we are going down here. Oh, we look so cool. But yep, I'm glad I caught the uh, the lack of sound early. That would have sucked to finish up the game and, well, at least the, the story mode. My home away from home. And um, not have the sound captured. Almost sees you. He sees all the good you have done, and that you are desperate to pursue the Lord of Hatred. But Mephisto's plans have yet to be revealed. The threat he poses is no longer an immediate one. Bormus and Nahantu have need of you. Eru's betrayal is a fresh wound, but others have been harmed by his actions. Not only did we lose Maka, may her soul find peace, but Eru was a revered elder. The people of Nahantu grieve all they have lost. Nahantu needs to remember hope, friend. They need a hero. Ormus asks, what is a hero without those who push them to be heroic? You must gather your allies. All right, level 50. I think we still got 10 more points left to get. Which I will get. We just, uh... I want to do the... Some of these other quests. Okay, Deed of a Champion. Almost has suggested I gather mercenary allies to aid my cause. Oh, we have a whole bunch of different things. Hey, okay. we will carry on with this until the yellow icon disappears. And then we'll get onto the pink one. Unless I need to get a mercenary in order to do this. Ah, so she is. It's time she learned this part of the trade. The Pale Hand had a reputation. We never commanded the resources of the wolves, so we had to make do. We'd fight someone else's battles and take what their enemies left behind. You were looters. <laughs> and I'm in good company, eh? Earn a mercenary's trust and we'll keep an eye out for whatever bits and bobs you might desire. Speak with Faye. You'll pay in pale marks, coins daubed with chalk dust. Careful, friend. <laughs> it shows you're one of us now. Hey, mercenaries trade their loot against pale marks. You can earn pale marks by gaining mercenary rapport and by completing events with the mercenary. I think there was three pages of that and then I missed it.
Okay, there are all the clues, but let's see what she has to say. All these numbers are so boring. What is this? Just as important to a smith as a hammer. You'll never make a living if you don't learn how to balance a book, Faye. <sighs> I guess. I guess. All right. Bartering cash. Bartering upgrades. We stock supply for free. Improve your bartering potential by increasing mercenary rapport. Oh, glad that's done. Okay, complete a nameless mystery, Slayer's Retribution, Feather on a Scale. Nameless mystery, Feather on a Scale, Slayer's Retribution. So I've got to do these missions in order to do this. I get it. But I think... First we shall get this... Um, yeah, we'll go with this one. Because it doesn't have anything to do with the mercenaries. And I got the seasonal quest to do. Yeah, we're going to keep going here, guys. I'm not going to stop just because we finished the game. We're going to get everything that we need to get for a Vessel of Hatred done. And then we'll continue. I think that's a good idea. Plus, maybe in the next video I'll have configured my new mic and have understood everything there. But yeah, let's uh, spend our skill point. So what was I going to get? I think I was going to go for a skill called um, Mirage. Yeah, I've got initiative done. I think I was going to go Mirage and then Unrestrained Power. How was Mirage again? Over here. There we go. Mirage, so we get 20% increased dodge chance when we evade. Just one point in that, but unrestrained power. Good. Extra damage. Hey. Okay. Get in the Undercity. See what's going on. Yeah, I really like this mask. Makes us look like a statue. But I don't know what this is. Um... This is explore it. I really want to kill every regular enemy. They follow me, I'll kill them. Oh yeah, I want to drink one of these potions. Oh, you sound like you're <laughs> insane. Kill them quickly. Must have sent you. I am Siak, council member of Kuras. Because I am not simply a leader, I am a healer. A disease is spreading across Nahantu. You know it by its symptom. The dregs. Now they're here, in the depths of Kurast. If they spread further, the city will die a second death. I thought to cure the disease, but... <laughs> we shouldn't dawdle. Come. The edges look like they're almost blurred. Like the edge of the screen. I don't know if that's some kind of graphical interface, but... Help him escape. Alright, I guess we're gonna walk with him back. Legs were human once. Now they are... Unrecognizable. I'm really enjoying my build here. Kind of nice that it all came, came together. 
didn't know if it would. I haven't watched any footage or anything like that, so... Anyway. Gold is rolling in. I think we need 500k to upgrade our health pot again. It will do. You've helped me, and I must ask you to help me again. But first, you should know something. Stand back. Hold your nose, if you must. You gotta let one rip. I tried to cure the dregs, but in the process, I was infected. I must continue the work. A cure must be found, or Kuras will die a second death. <sighs> you hear that? The venom on my tongue. That is what I am becoming. Malignance and malignity together. Meet me in the upper Kurast. We'll speak more there. And out we go. Yeah, there's one thing I want to change with my mic settings. I don't know if you you watch my videos and such, you'll know that sometimes when I speak, my voice doesn't get picked up right away. I gotta figure out the gate. Not all of my duties concern the dregs. I still have a responsibility to the people of Kurast to protect them, even when their problems are insignificant. A family reported a hunting in their home, likely imagined, but someone needs to deal with it, even if it comes at the cost of precious time. Meet me there. We will deal with this hunting together. Yeah, I've played around with the uh, the gate a few times, just... I think I loosened it up a little bit, and by that I mean... So, basically what the gate does is... It only captures your voice when you start talking or when you stop talking. So, if there are background noises, it won't trigger your microphone with that stuff, right? So... I play with a speaker, I don't play with headphones on. So typically, if you've got your gate set low, the, uh, wow, we don't have that. Um, yeah, everything will get picked up with the slightest of sounds. And how do I get this flower now? All right, we'll carry on. I can't really do much here, right? It's with this dude I kind of want to bump the difficulty up a bit but when we hit level 60 and I start getting some gear then I'll bump it up yes a different man split down the middle it doesn't matter. The sooner this is dealt with, the sooner we can return to our work. Search the home. I don't expect we'll be here long. Always been a huge Diablo fan. I just, I don't know what it is with Diablo 4. Like previously, I just couldn't get into the game. I've never gotten a character up to level 100. And the highest I got was 92, and I just, I just found the gameplay boring. But this change that they've done here... Going on. I, I think what they've done is gonna be huge for the for the game. Link glints in the ashes. Um yeah, I, like they've really improved the way the game plays and how it works, and that in itself is gonna be a game changer. Unintended, of course. Um, for this game. I mean, the nice thing about Diablo 2, sorry, Diablo 3, was you could just pick it up, grind till end game or get rushed, and then just be in the end game grind for gear and getting better and such, right? And it was fun. 
just this one they had so many different levels that it didn't matter what gear you got early on because it didn't matter because you had to get to world tier 4 to get all the better gear anyway this room truly oh, perhaps i was wrong to doubt this is a real threat as real as the dregs and their affliction we must act quickly there is a Zakarum shrine nearby. Look for signs of hauntings. I want to make sure they have not wandered far. If the conquerors of Kurast mean to repeat history, we must prepare ourselves. Where are we going? Just outside. Yeah, those dungeons are also good as well. If you want to get a skill that you haven't found on a piece of armor yet, can actually do the uh, the dungeon to get the ability at the lowest rank but it at least lets you progress your story right Really digging my build, it's working. I mean, every now and again I'll run out of my resource, but it's not too bad. You know, right now I'm spamming my resource and it's working. Poison. Oh my god, help. Not ready. So I use a Razor Naga mouse, and literally all my buttons are on the mouse. So if you see me at the map, I don't mean to be hitting the map, I just I don't have enough figure. fat fingered the button. How do I pop this? Defensing, uh, agility, okay. Agility would be like some kind of sprint ability, I guess. But yeah, I'm having a blast. I'm loving what they've done with the game. Loving the changes. It just feels fun to play. Aliyah, Kurast's end. If her ghost is abroad, it's for one reason. To finish what she began a century ago. You must venture into the Undercity and strike her down. She will rise again. She has many times before, but she will not venture to the surface for another decade at least. And... Thank you. Had you not been here, my callousness would have earned us another crisis. District unlock ziggurat. Is this quest line just going to keep going? What's this? Caress under city. Commune with. Spirit Brazer to open a portal to Kirast Undercity. Reverse the Undercity to reach its district boss before time runs out. Time expiration ends your run. Oh, it's a greater rift. Play afflicted monsters and destroy afflicted structures to earn time extension bonuses. Earn attunement by slaying monsters, igniting spirit beacons. Achieve attunement rank 1 to earn powerful reward upgrades. Higher attunement ranks, further enhance completion rewards. Bargain. 
open the portal to the Undercity to, or enhance its reward potential. So I wonder if they have like runes like we had in Diablo 3. You know what, let's try it, why not, right? Can't hurt. And this is the the intro mission, so I'm sure it'll be pretty lenient. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna do something about poison. What is that noise that keeps happening? I've gotta collect those things, I think. Okay. So we just keep going. Progressing. We keep getting time unlocks. I don't see any loot drop. I wonder if... We get loot at the end. Nice. I like how it pauses. want to make our way over there but we can't just rush through it because we won't get through it enough I think I have to kill all those enemies in order to unlock that. Oh, did that one. There we go.
Nice. We're not doing too bad. So what does this mean? Reward upgrades. Night beacon, slay monsters, time bonus, slay afflicted monsters, reach the district boss before the timer expires. What are you doing in my area? Get out of there. I think we have to take our time to get higher in terms of things that we collect. I wasn't even looking at my XP, but it's not going up, so... Need more time. Am I supposed to just keep going forwards, or...? Defeat the district boss to complete the dungeon. Okay, so you keep doing the areas to unlock these things, and then you get more rewards based on how high you get. So, okay, so the timer is based on that bar for progression. Then you have a boss, which is not a timer on that course. I think the brown icon is what we gotta do to go I forgive you, child. I forgive you. We got flowers, nice, I can upgrade my... Oh, that's sick, they give us a stash there as well. You can't pick anything up, you can drop it in your stash and carry on. Hey, is there a portal or do we just town portal out of this? Nope. Okay, let's figure this out. I think I have to leave the dungeon. We're still learning this guy, so work with me here. All right. Good, you're here. Time is of the essence. Follow me. Check out our loot. We didn't get any legendaries. Really sucks. We got yellows that are better, but I don't think they are better. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna break them down. Not ready yet. Look around. What do you see? Something ripples beneath the drag skin, corded muscles, convulsing in waves. You're hit with a sudden rush of nausea. The blood of drags and Nangari, each swimming around the other, never mixing. 
slain Nangari. A dagger was slid between Nangari's ribs. The blood runs clean. No pus, no maggots, none of the dregs, telltale growths. Nangari hunting dregs, but not a body eaten. This was done for territory or for sport. Either way, these are not the Nangari of the northern swamps. They have been wounded by the dregs and yet they show no sign of infection. Natural resistance. This may well be the cure we're looking for. Collect their blood, bring it to me. And find out where they came from. I suspect the ruins in the south would be a good place to start. There's no time to lose. It's really cool. The game just keeps telling you to progress. Find the golden snakes. Yeah, let's just keep going. I feel like I'm getting really strong right now as well, so... Hudge chance is 40%. Yeah, the poison. Holy. It's really hitting hard if you don't pay attention. Where's my little, uh, companion that's supposed to be picking up all my loot? Get out of the poison feed. of a snake feel free to pause and read Yeah, they still have the Paragon board in this. I I felt like the Paragon board was a little complicated, but let's see how it goes. Especially if you're playing by yourself, like trying not to follow any guides. Um, it's definitely difficult to kind of piece things together. But you know what? I'm having a blast trying to figure things out. We have seen this. I do not know. <laughs> I hope not. Ah, you brought the blood. Good. I'll begin distilling it immediately. And uh, what's this? 
an Angari tooth, larger than any I've seen. A progenitor, a progenitor who may still live. You must bind her. If the blood you found turns out to be too weak, we should have a more potent sample ready, just in case. You can now explore the temple district of the Undercity. Okay. Defeat Yosh. the right thing I don't know what these do wait what the Yosh in the Undercity's temple district you know what we are gonna do this in the next video I didn't realize the time I'm gonna check through my gear and such and my potion's gonna run out anyway but yeah thank you so much for watching and i do apologize for the first few minutes of the of the video where i didn't have game sound i just i don't know what would have caused the obs to stop recording game sound like it i didn't disable it i didn't touch that section obs man obs anyway catch you in the next one